Thank you, Marcus. Now to our top story this morning. Fire crews still at the scene of an early morning blaze on the south side that's impacted at least three businesses. Firefighters called to the 4700 block of South Flores right around 430 this morning. And there we, we, we once again find Max Massey live. Max, you spoke with the fire captain. Have they determined a cause yet? Well, the fire captain telling me that the fire has now been dubbed suspicious, mainly because it appears as though it has started on the outside of these buildings, spread very quickly. Arson investigators are now on the scene trying to figure out how exactly it started. I'm going to step out of the way, show you what we're looking at right now. It is a lot more calm than it was when we first got here. Still, you're seeing some of the fire engines leave, but there are still at least three here on the scene. Now, when we first got here, we saw flames and smoke pillowing out of this print shop. The print shop connected to a cell phone repair shop and a barber shop. Luckily though, guys, no one was inside any of the buildings at the time of the blaze. There are no reported injuries, but the fire will be a big hit for local business owners. So seeing it burning like that, it, it kind of was discouraging. My initial thought was like, what am I going to do now? You know, because we come from nothing. So it's for something like this to happen is devastating. So now it's to rearrange my whole life. I don't know what I'm going to do. The owner of that barber shop standing with his family this morning trying to figure out what to do next. He does tell me that none of his materials, none of his tools are affected, but his shop has heavy smoke damage. Now, the fire captain telling me that arson is still working this morning. Again, trying to determine where exactly the fire started, what business it started at, and trying to determine if it was actually arson. As for the damage right now, it is estimated at $200,000. Mark, Leslie, 